last part of how to make your own business cards. It's not very long. Um, and then we'll finish this up and I'll move on to picture frames. So that'll be the next thing. So take care. Bye. So I just started putting on a coat of this crimson scarlety color. And I'll probably do a second coat, but I'm not sure yet. I want the writing that I'm going to do to be really visible, so I might leave it lighter than normal. I don't really want it to fade into the page. That's moving the white around, so it's going to have to dry for a little bit. It's the only way to put a second layer on there. It's got to be completely dry before you try to do anything to it. Then it will be harder to lift the color. You can paint over watercolor. It's just not as easy as it looks. shirts are not the best for painting in this situation. And after this is done, the only thing left to do is to letter them. And I'll do that with an ink pen. One that is more permanent, so even if the watercolor gets messed up, they will still be able to read.
Okay, so we'll let that dry for a bit. Put some lettering on there, take things off, and I'll have business cards. Okay, so I've started labeling this thing. And I'll do a couple here just to show you what I'm doing, but I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. So basically, I got this pen. It's a dip pen. And I'm writing with Windsor and Newton black Indian ink that will stay there forever. So even if somebody ruins the card, the printing should still stay. So anyways, that's it. That's what you do. Then when you're done, I'm not finished with all of these, but I'm going to go ahead and cut these off here just so I can show you what I'm doing. This down. And then lift off. And we have now fix these later. Make the wheel there. The last thing I wanted to do here is throwing some black outline. I don't know, we'll try this for a minute. So that's what they're going to look like. And actually, the way to do this, the kind of pen it is, is to draw all these lines at once in this direction. Everything always works so much better if you just systematize it a little bit. Okay, see, it's melting ink. Okay, so there's five cards. Pretty quickly put together. Um, the only thing left to do is to cut them apart. And that should be easy enough. And you need a straight line. And really, I could do these on the mat cutter and make sure they're absolutely precisely exact. But you know what? I just don't really care. Let's 
and there you have it. Simple business cards. Ta -da! And they're far more memorable than anything else. And you can write something on the back of them if you want. I could have put more time into these if I wanted, but it really doesn't matter today. And actually, they're all about the same size. And so, oh, there's one here that's a little big. Let me cut that one down a little bit. And there you have it, business cards. And they're much cooler than anybody else's business cards. So, between other projects, I'll work on that, and hopefully by tomorrow I'll have about 50 of these things. So, there you go. That's how you can make some cheap, easy business cards. Enjoy!